What's going on everybody? Kenny here, also known as Silent85. Welcome to a gamer log talking about the Scream 6 movie. Um great movie. I, I loved it. Um there was definitely some throwbacks. Uh you had characters in there I didn't think I would see in there, and you have new legacy characters, which is great. Um Honestly, I mean look, I'm a horror fan. I'm not a hardcore horror fan, like a uh, couple of buddies of mine, but um, I really enjoyed it. I've seen most of the Scream movies. I think the only one I haven't seen was four? Uh, I remember the original, and I'll tell you why I remember the original. I remember the original because of Scary Movie, because Scary Movie, I saw the original first, and then I saw Scary Movie uh, a few years later. Actually, I think Scary Movie came out after Scream 2. Um, it was weird not seeing um, Nev Campbell in this one because she was a real badass in the last one, but um, it stood on its own. I thought it was great. Uh, it was definitely a bit of a curveball there at the end. There is a message, by the way. There's a message at the end of the movie, so stay through the credits. It's real quick, but it's worth it. I, I laugh my ass off, um, especially with the editing in it. It was amazing. But, um, the movie itself was great. I really loved it. It was definitely an 8 out of 10. Um, 8 and a half, I would say. Um, Mike Shinoda did work for the soundtrack. I loved it. Um, standout characters to me were both roommates. I'm not going to say who. You can figure all that out as you're watching it. Were the roommates. Uh, obviously, Jenna Ortega, uh, Billy Loomis's daughter, and Gail Weathers. Um, I won't go else into who is a standout character because it would give some away, but I was under a misconception in this movie. Uh, I mentioned it in a previous video, um, I mentioned a certain type of training. I don't want to say what it is, but, um, I, it, it still applies, I guess, in some ways. But anyway, it blew my mind. Um, obviously there's a lot of in and outs, uh, a lot of unexpected things to happen. But really cool throwbacks, really cool references, really, just, just really cool. And, and again, just like the first one, the first one shows a message of a girl dealing with PTSD, dealing with these mental, um, let me, for lack of a better word, challenges, these voices in her head. And um, you see that reflected here. I mean, she's turning something that is very dark within her into something, I mean, in a way positive. Um, and it's, it's just really cool scenes when you see that interaction, when you see her getting, getting a grip, you know, on, um, what caused other people to lose their damn minds, you know? So I will say that it's a really cool message. Um, there are a couple of, what's the word I'm looking for? There are a couple of messages there that kind of speak to our society right now. I don't think they meant it that way. Maybe they did. But, um, it, it is, you can see it in an exchange during, in one of the late scenes of the film, when the killers are unveiled, you, you kind of hear an exchange and I was like, that's true. That's really true. And it's been true for a long time, way before the internet too. So when you hear that, think about that. But overall, like I said, eight, eight and a half out of 10. I loved it. Um, I'm going to see John Wick, hopefully this weekend, probably Monday. I hope, uh, I had a free ticket today, so that's, I used it on screen. I ended up having a panic attack this morning. Um, I had to leave work early. Also, some other medical stuff going on. I'll keep you guys up to date on that. But uh, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Uh, I had a panic attack, and I had a physical, something physical happen, um, which scared the hell out of me. I, I don't want to go into details, but I just want to let you guys know I'm doing better. I'm doing okay. Um, but anyway, uh, it's back to work for me tomorrow. And... Um, yeah, it felt really good to get out because I've been a bit of a homebody. My hygiene has been horrible. I haven't I haven't had the energy to do anything, to be honest. I, uh, I've been really, really, I'm, I'm not in a danger zone, so to speak, but like emotionally and mentally, but I am definitely, yeah, it's crazy. I'll give you, I'll give you all more details next week at some point. I'm starting treatment. Um, 
in two ways in my life, and I'll give you more details next week. I'm not, I'm not really ready to talk about it yet, but I will let you guys know. Um, well, there is one I can talk about. Uh, I'm starting a new psoriasis treatment. Uh, they did the blood work um, Monday. They're checking. They're doing a full panel. Um, I'm getting off TALTS. They're putting me on Skyrizzy. I don't know how it's going to go. Honestly, it scares the hell out of me because TALTS was my first biologics for psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. I can even feel the arthritis in my hands starting to kick in big time, but it's really painful. Uh, it started today, actually, when I was driving to the movie theater. Um, so anyway, there's a lot going on, um, and I'll give you guys the detail next week. But the movie was a great escape from reality. I'm going to go home, play some Warcraft, um, and tonight we'll be continuing uh, Devil Within Me. And, or the, is it The Devil Within or The Devil Within Me? I haven't played it in a while. I can, I can never remember the title. Um, we'll be doing that as a part of Wednesday's lineup for now until we finish it. And then, of course, uh, continuing for Spoken tomorrow night, potentially. Um, like I said, the, last week was crazy. I had a lot going on. This week, uh, some things are catching up with me, so I'm a little iffy. I apologize, y'all. I really do. But anyway, stay safe, stay sane. Remember, you're awesome. Never let the world tell you otherwise. And I'll see you later. Peace.